All right, what is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lions Den located in Colmar, PA. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the three biggest common mistakes when I see when it comes to cutting or losing weight. So I've been putting out this series because one, I have been cutting. Uh, I am 10 weeks into my 15 week cut. I've lost about 20 pounds uh, currently in the last uh, 10 weeks. So I wanted to be sharing w everything I've been doing with you guys, okay, how I've done it, why we cut, you know, how to go about it, make your blueprint. Um, but in this video, it's gonna be very short. We're just gonna cover uh, the biggest mistakes that I've seen with myself and also the athletes that I work with, okay? So cutting mistakes. First one off the bat, I talk about this all the time, is just not tracking, okay? A lot of people set these goals and then they just try to be intuitive uh, with their eating. And the fact is, is that you have to track. So you have to use some sort of app, whether it be my fitness pal, chronometer, RP strength or diet app. Uh, and you have to be putting in the data to see how things are going and knowing how much you're eating and how many calories and your macros, et cetera. So I know it sounds super basic, but a lot of people uh, just try to clean up their eating and then they hop on the scale, but they're not tracking it. And then, yeah, maybe it works for a week or so, uh, but old habits die hard, right? Uh, so then maybe we start eating again, we get on the scale, and then really things just kind of never change, okay? So that, that we wanna make sure that we are tracking. It's the biggest one, tracking your food uh, somehow or some way, because that's gonna be the data we have to, to manipulate to get to where we need to get. Now, second one, uh, this is a big one as well, is not enough time, okay? A lot of people, once summer is already here, they try to rush uh, to get their summer body midway through summer, okay? We don't wanna do that. We wanna plan ahead of time. And I talked about in one of my other cutting videos is that you wanna have at least 12 to 15 weeks. And the reason we wanna have time uh, is because we want this to be slow and steady uh, progress. We don't wanna do anything extreme. Uh, we don't wanna go into a huge deficit, which I'll we'll talk about in a minute here, uh, but you know, having a plan and having enough time is just gonna be crucial. So give yourself time. If you wanna be ready for summer, start planning in the, uh, the end of winter and spring, getting, you know, your plan laid out, getting your mindset ready, and then you can dive into it and you can be where you need to be when the time comes, okay? And uh, like I said, if we're trying to rush it eight weeks uh, or anything less than that, typically we just do, do drastic things that aren't gonna keep uh, the results that we're looking for, all right? So that is two, so plan out, make sure you have enough time. Uh, three is too big of a deficit. So I recommend a 300 to 500 calorie deficit. And this is nice when you have enough time, like we had just talked about, to have slow and steady progress, okay? Uh, if you have a short amount of time, you're more likely to put yourself in a bigger deficit. Uh, but when we go into bigger deficits, what I found and the research kind of shows is mentally it's super tough. Okay. Also, physically, uh, you're going to be more tired. You're probably going to be a little bit more weaker, and you are going to have the best chance to preserve as much muscle as possible. I, I just see too often people go into a big deficit, or they go from, you know, eating uh, 3,500 calories to 1,500 calories. It's crazy drastic. And typically, also what we see there is this rebound effect where maybe they kill it for two weeks and then at the end of two weeks, they just kind of don't have the willpower, they give up, they throw in the towel and they just start binge eating again, okay? And that's not what we want. We want just nice, consistent progress. So uh, less is more in that case where we wanna be in that three to 500 calorie uh, deficit to be as successful as possible. So when it comes to cutting, these are the three mistakes you guys really wanna avoid and be on the best track for success. I definitely recommend watching the other videos that I've linked above throughout this video when it comes to cutting or massing and kind of what I've been doing and using those principles to work for you. Uh, but keep this video short, guys. If you have any questions, go down in the comments section. Please ask me any questions there. Give me any feedback on the videos. Trying to crank these out, give you guys high frequency on the channel as well as high energy. I really love you guys and I'm passionate about this. I wanna help as many people as possible. And I figured I'm going through the journey. You guys are coming with me. I'm trying to teach you everything that I can and we are gonna be savages together. So stay a lean, mean track machine, guys. Keep kicking ass, taking names, living your best life. Peace.